How's it going guys, Chronic Rush here and welcome to a brand new squad builder in FIFA 15 and I recently said that I was going to be building a squad for every single upgraded card released in FIFA 15 onto the transfer market. I'm going to be doing all the gold players and maybe some of the better silver cards that have been upgraded from the January upgrades. Today we have got the upgraded Jetwo Williams card from the left back position from PSV. We've already done an upgraded Yannick Balassi squad, the left wing version. Go and check that squad builder out and go and try it out because it felt like a very, very strong squad. But today, like I said, the main man of the team is the upgraded Willems card in the left back position. And then he is the main man of the squad. And we structured the team around him. And it actually looks like a fairly solid hybrid squad. Uh, we got five dead links there, I think. And uh, there's some very, very strong players in the squad indeed. So, let's get straight into the squad and the formation we're playing is the 4-3-3, the 4 version. That is the one with the centre attack in mid. Moving on to the players, the goalkeeper we have, Diego Alves. Right back, we have Danny Alves. The two centre backs, we've got Miranda and Congolo. The left back, we have the main man, Jetro Willems. Moving on to the midfielders. First player here is going to be this player here, the centre mid, the silver player from Feyenoord, Vilena. Looks like a fantastic silver card indeed. Moving on to the cam, we have the main man, Coutinho. Looks like a very, very good card and I know he's a very, very strong card in FIFA. And moving on to the other final player in the midfield, we have the in-form Rafinha, which looks like a very, very well-balanced card. And for around 16k in-form from Barcelona, he is not too shabby. Moving on to the attackers, the right wing, we have Raheem Sterling and then his lookalike, or should I say his daddy, big old Danny Sturridge up top. Those two look very, very similar. Um, Sturridge, Sterling, Ibe, man, they are all bred very, very similar. And moving on to the final player of the team, the left wing, we have Kishna from Ajax, the youngster there in that left wing spot, 73 rated. You can basically put any um, Netherlands centre mid from the Eredivisie. So you could put Memphis to pay there, but I'm going to try and use one upgrade carded, one upgrade card, sorry, per squad. So let's get straight into a game with this squad and see how it performs. It looks like a very, very strong squad and I cannot wait to see if we can annihilate some people in FIFA 15. Let's go and see how it performs. So there's the team we have come up against and it looks like it is a full Chelsea team with a couple of surprising figures, shall I say, in the sense that he's got Ake, Zuma as well as the right back. I'm not too sure who it is off the top of my head, um, but um, he's got good attack, shall I say. The rest of the Chelsea players um, are obvious choices, but maybe the defence, that could be our chance in pipping him to the final victory. And uh, let's see what happens and let's get straight into scoring some goals. And oh, uh, here we go, hit that. Ooh, what a save there from Petr Cech. What a tackle, that is a fantastic tackle indeed. Hit that. Oh, what a fantastic finish there from the silver card. Wilhelm, I think it is, I'm not too sure on the pronunciation, but that is an absolute hit. Absolute rocket into the back in there. Come on, Willems, you got to do some defending. Oh, I've missed the challenge with him. Bad, bad defending from my behalf. Lock that over the top. Have you got the pace? He's got the pace. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has. Big Daniel Sturridge up top. Going to make that 2-1. Got fairly lucky. Quick 1-2. We'll see that pass to Daniel Sturridge. Have you got the pace? Getting around Kurt Zuma like he's not even there. Daniel Sturridge, there we go. 3-2, sorry, 3-1, easy finish, Daniel Sturridge. I'm not too sure what sort of finish that was, but the sliding finish in FIFA 15 seems to be OP as hell. Oh, that tackle's nearly there. We nearly had it, I reckon he'll cut back in. Okay, you got to get that header. No! Man, my defending is so bad at the moment. 3-2, there we go. Wrong way to pass the ball. Come on, referee. Lovely layoff, back over, lovely ball, come inside, hit that, there we go, oh, oh no, no, oh praise the Lord, this is some awful defending, get that ball out, come on keep it, what are you doing, oh my, are you serious, what the hell, Oh my god, this is some FIFA BS. 
How is that a penalty? This game is so sackish. I wasn't even controlling my player. Pile of wank that is. Looks like he's going to make it 3-3 just before half time, which is going to be extremely frustrating due to the fact that I don't know what was going on there. Keeper really probably should have caught it in the first effort. Let it go over his head. I'm just going to stay in the middle. And that was an easy penalty save as well. That's really annoying. There's the half time stats, guys. And um, it's just annoying. Uh, yes, he's got one extra shot on target. I've got more possession. But that goal he got at the end due to that stupid penalty, which I've got, I don't understand why. It was given against me in the sense that I was not even controlling that player. He goes to headers it, doesn't header it, and the guy headers it towards goal, uh, whatever. Let's go and get some goals back. We've already seen this team as a lot of attacking threat, and I know we can easily win this game. Jesus. Okay, Willems. Through ball. Here we go. Why is he playing such a deep line? What is going on here? Lovely ball. Lovely touch. Coutinho in the corner. Oh, what a save from Peter Cech. Go for the corner more, fella. Come on. Rafinha. Ooh, how close was that? How close was that? Come on. Driver is defence. Daniel Sturridge coming inside. One more. Daniel Sturridge. That's dribbling. There we go. Big Daniel Sturridge. Oh, my God. That's a last-ditch tackle. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. And we found a free ball. One more. Into the path of Kishina. Kishina on through. What are we going to do? Are we going to go for the crabbage? Now I'm going to cut inside and finesse that. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. I thought we had missed that. It, it was one of those lag bobbles. Is it going in? No. Is it? Yes. There we go. Kishina just to secure us the win in the 90th minute. Go and make that 5-3. There we go. He may have had enough. He may have had enough. Come on. Let's go for a rage quit. Come on. I want to see a rage quit. Come on. As long as it's not me, I don't care. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go, guys. I think that's probably the first rage quit of our upgraded squad builders series. Let's have a quick look to see if it goes into our stats. But this team felt very, very strong indeed. Really enjoyed playing with it. The likes of Daniel Sturridge, Raheem Sterling just absolutely blazed past all of his centre-backs. Um, Kishno, Sturridge, Sterling, they've got pace. Coutinho there has pace as well. The defence wasn't too bad. I wasn't as impressed with Willems as I thought I would be. Um, like there was some times where he got out of strength. He's not the fastest of left backs either in terms of pace. He's getting Remy was going around him, um, but uh, to be fair, he wasn't too bad of a left back. Maybe in a different formation or something like that. Um, but I'm a bit reliant on pace when I play as a set, um, as a defender in FIFA. Um, due to like I think anyone else, but Congolo pretty solid um, as well as Miranda fairly solid squad. Um, Rafinha didn't really do too much in the sense that. Um, he did the job that he was needed, but it wasn't any outstanding play from him or anything. Though no. the squad felt very, very well balanced. I actually really, really enjoy playing with it, so I'm pretty happy about that way. Uh, let's have a quick look at the stats. Okay, yeah, there you go. A bit of annihilation towards the second half um, in terms of possession and shots on target. He really, really shouldn't have got his three goals, uh, which was pretty frustrating to concede. But guys, that is the up graded Jetro Willems squad builder in FIFA 15 and I think it was a fantastic squad to play definitely definitely recommend the squad um, if you wanted to use the likes of Memphis Depay or someone like that instead of the left wing Kishna go for it I still enjoyed it a lot um, you could also use the likes of Will Naldum instead of um, Vilhena instead but I liked Vilhena as well I thought he was a class centimeter so guys that is the upgraded Willems squad builder. If you got any feedback, put that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned to my upgraded card squad builders and go and check out other channel videos on my channel as well, guys. This has been Crush. Until next time, adios.